Hey guys, it's Anna, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a stretch routine to get flexible hips, which will help you improve your middle splits, tilts, and more. Along with this routine, I'm giving you a stretch challenge, which is to follow along to this video daily for two weeks. And I've also created a playlist with my warm up routine that you can do before you stretch, and also a leg stretching routine that you can do in addition to this one if you would like even faster results. If you would like the chance to be featured at the end of one of my videos, use the hashtag Anna McNulty Challenge challenge to share your flexibility transformations on Instagram or TikTok. This routine is great for anyone, whether you are a complete beginner or more advanced, because I'll be showing different versions of the stretches. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to do straddle kicks, trying to kick your feet as close to the ground as you can. You definitely don't need to be able to kick your feet all the way to the ground to do this. Just go as far as you can and beginners do the version on the left side. Remaining in this position, let your legs sink into as deep of a straddle as you can and then try to pulse them closer to the ground. And now push your legs down as far as it takes for you to feel a stretch. If you can't get very deep into this stretch, that's completely fine. The more often that you do this routine, the lower you should be able to go. Still laying on your back, place your left leg over top of your right knee and then straighten out the right leg trying to pull it towards your chest. If you have tighter hamstrings, you can leave the right leg bent as shown in the beginner's version. Switch which leg is crossed over to repeat that stretch on the other side. During this, you should be feeling a good stretch in your outer hip. Sit up and go into as wide of a straddle as you can and reach one arm over to its opposite side. to repeat that with the other arm reaching over. Now rotate your hips towards one leg and reach over top of that leg. From here, reach to the inside of that same leg. And reach to the center. You can now come back up into a regular straddle and then rotate your hips towards the other leg to reach over top of it. Reach 
reach to the inside of that leg. And reach to the center of your straddle. We are well over halfway through this routine now, so don't give up, you can make it to the end. For the next stretch, turn your hips towards one side and bend in the front leg. In this one, you should also be feeling a good stretch in your outer hip, and if you don't feel the stretch, you can pull the front foot outwards to make this a little more advanced. To get an even deeper hip stretch in this position, reach up and then reach over top of the front leg. Now bend in the back leg so that it meets the front one for butterfly stretch. Once you're in the butterfly position, push down on your legs to feel an even deeper stretch in your hips. reach forward keeping your legs in the butterfly stretch. You can now come up from your butterfly stretch and we're going to repeat the stretch before this on the other leg. Cause I knew from the start this might be overrated. And now reach forward. From here, go into a downward dog and then step your legs apart with your feet turned outwards to do plie squats. If you can't reach the ground, that's completely fine. Just do the beginner's version and as your flexibility improves, you should get closer to the ground. When doing this one, make sure that your feet and knees are turned outwards. squat, use your arms to try to push your legs backwards. There isn't really a beginner's modification to this one, just don't go as deep into the squat. And now turn your feet into a standing pike stretch and then roll back up to standing. Cause I don't believe 